This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar covering audio transitions inside Apple Final Cut Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. Audio is a huge part of any project, but far too often we concentrate on the picture and ignore the sound. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to add, modify, and adjust audio transitions. Let's return to Dr. Surf and cover a few more controls before we get into transitions themselves. To make a clip audible or inaudible, highlight it and type the letter V. V makes it visible or invisible. If you want to hear a clip but not other clips around it, you can solo it by clicking the solo button and that way notice that these clips become inaudible, third grade, but you hear and see the clip that is soloed. If you want to skim the video, click this, and now as you skim across your keyboard shortcut is the letter S. S toggles that on and off. And if you want to hear the audio, you can also enable audio skimming. It's off by default. And now as I skim across the audio, you can hear it. Or if you just want to see the video, you can disable the audio skimming. I use the visibility invisibility all the time. Let's say that I want to add a fade in at the end of this clip. Notice as I hover over the, wait a minute, this audio and the video is joined together. Command A to select everything, double click the audio and now all the selected clips are exposed. And let's go to here and open this up so we can see what we're doing. Okay, good. Now you notice as I hover over the audio, this little dot appears. If I, no, not trim, grab the fade dot and grab this and notice that as I do, we'll make it an extra long fade. I see that this is going to fade slowly to black. Your path that the packets were taking or anything else. Packets, of course, are the little electronic postcards that the internet sends back and forth. Think of the music ending at the end. Well, if I control click on that dot, it opens up a menu which is a linear fade. That's better when you're fading to or from black. An S curve, that's better when you are dissolving between clips. A negative 3 dB is a smoother fade. I tend to use this the most. And notice how the shape sort of curves a bit. And the duration of the fade is based upon the location of the fade dot. You can get to the fade dot by hovering over any clip. There's one at the beginning and one at the end of every clip. So you can have it fade out and fade in as you see fit. Here, let me just grab this and drag over. Notice that I can now have the clips overlap. And as I grab this and drag it, I can have one fade out while the other fades in, which you would never do for dialogue, but you would do for sound effects. And again, or ambient sound or room tone, you'd have it crossfade like that. So this requires a cut. That's a cut by, by simply grabbing the edge of the clip and dragging it further, you can overlap them. To reset, again, just grab the fade dot and drag it. Grab the fade dot till it turns into two left-right arrows, then and you can drag the fade dot wherever you want. This was an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar covering audio techniques in Apple Final Cut Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 350. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.